Once you've set up and finally taken an image with the camera, the playback screen provides a whole host of information that allows you to decide whether the shot you got is the shot you wanted or not. First off is the single image view. This, the image will fill the entire screen. By pushing the info button, you then get shutter speed, aperture, file number, and finally file name. If you push the info button again, you get a small thumbnail of the image, complete with any flashing highlights if you have any overexposed areas, the date of shooting and time, shutter speed, aperture, again the file number, and any flash or exposure bracketing you may have had set. You also get the histogram. Once you know how to read the histogram, it can tell you everything you need to know about your image and the exposure. From a quick glance at the histogram, you can decide whether you need to reshoot the image or it's fine as it is. It also shows you the colour space you were shooting in, in this case Adobe RGB, the white balance mode you had selected, the metering mode and the shooting mode that you used, and finally the file size and the ISO setting that you had on the camera at the time of shooting. To help you classify your images when you get home, the camera offers three settings for file numbering. The options are continuous, auto reset and manual reset. Continuous means that every time you insert a card, and format it, it will keep counting up from the previous number on the card. Auto reset, every time you insert a card, the camera will reset back to zero. A manual reset, at any point that you want to reset the numbers, you can put them straight back to zero by selecting that. If you're using a large capacity memory card and have taken a lot of images, it can take quite a while to flick through them on the back of the camera. However, the jump button here allows you to skip through either 10 or 100 images as long as you have 100 images on the card, at a time. Once you're where you want to be, you can review the image and either go forwards or backwards singly. If you're in the wider thumbnail view, the jump button can again be used and it allows you to jump between screens and then select the image you want and view at large.